Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friend Noe, and I am back as I promised I would be. And we do have the GoFundMe account up and running, description below, and I will be putting the the link in the other video I did because on the GoFundMe, um, Belinda did want that video that I did the other day on there. So the, the link is there. The link is in the description below here. And if uh, the, her PayPal, if um, you want to choose to donate directly to her through her PayPal, you can do so there. Or you can use this GoFundMe account. And I know some of you may think that the amount for the goal to start is seems like a lot but I want you to know that the the medical expenses alone could be as much as 20,000 if not easily 10 to 15,000 uh, we know today that the medical profession there you know when you when you have to put a piece of your the nose back in place and then re-break the other the other part and put that in place and it's a, it's a fair amount of money and this is how life is in, to, in today's society and we wanted to make sure I know it's been a little bit but we wanted to make sure that once we got it together that Rachel could go over the page and have everything on there and the way she wants it to be because that's the way it should be. It's it's up to Rachel. Uh, this is for her benefit. We want to make sure that her wishes are taken care of. But we do have it up and running. And the description is there. But now a few words from my heart to yours. We understand that in this world that we live in. There's times that it's hard for us to determine between reality and fantasy. But I want you to know that reality is what we make of it. And it's always been that way. Our reality for how we see our life in this world is whatever we want it to be. But the reality of somebody else may be entirely different. We sometimes, I think, we understand that people have hardships in their lives. Many of these hardships, as I have seen over the years in my life, and yes, for those of you that don't know, I'm almost 60. So I have seen a lot. I've been through a lot. But I've seen many people, they, you know, asking for help and wanting help. But their hardship was self-induced, so to say. They, they created their own hardship with their own decisions in life. I've helped a lot of people throughout my years. And a lot of them I felt that I had helped. I felt they really didn't deserve it. They needed to learn a lesson. But I helped them anyway. And others, I just didn't. Because they really needed to learn a valuable lesson in life. But many of us may not see the reality of somebody else until it hits home. With what happened to Rachel, it hit home. She is somebody that I have come to care for a lot as a very dear friend that I have watched her help so many people and do so many things for people. And just her, her happy her happiness, her joy, her her charismatic attitude 
can put a smile on anybody's face. It, it is that joy that she brings to somebody else's life. Now the reality is, her life could be done in no, in no short time at all. We all know this is a hard time. We are coming into very hard times, very rough times for everybody. But while things are still somewhat functioning the way they are, there, to me there is no reason why a good person, out of no fault of her own, needs to lose everything she has worked for. Many of you know that she was in Hollywood and she was on the television. And I can clearly tell you, she was not the Hollywood type. Not even close. Because the second that she decided that people needed to know the truth was the very second that the evil within Hollywood, oh no, and they took everything from her. And through the years, the few years that I've known her, is I met her and started learning of her and her life. And I watched how she came back from losing everything, and she'd done it all herself. And for this atrocity that has happened to her, this beating, this this could have ended her life and things would probably be a whole lot different if it did as max egan has had said and others have have said that think of you're going down a highway at 60 65 miles an hour and now you're being pounded You've got to control that vehicle. You're being hurt beyond belief. So not only is your life in jeopardy, the abuser's life is in jeopardy, other people on the highway. What if, if she had slammed right into somebody else because she couldn't control the vehicle? She done very good to get the vehicle stopped and to the side. Nobody, but nobody, deserves what has happened to her. This is why I am doing what I'm doing. This is why I am taking the time, gladly, to help her out. Because she helped another person. Many of you know Photo Helix. I saw what she went through to help Photo Helix. When God rest his soul. When his days were ending. And she made sure. That his last days on this earth. Were filled with love and kindness and joyful moments before he did leave this world. And that should account for something. She needs our help. She deserves our help. Any, any amount is a blessing. It truly is. And I know that times are hard for all of us. But yet, is there something, a luxury, that we could do without today? For that one day? That those few funds that we have could go to a good cause? We know that in the Bible, 
it says you shall reap what you sow. But that's not only for the bad things that people do, but it's also for the good things people do. Reaping what you sow. If you sow evil, you shall have evil. But if you sow good, you shall have good. I guarantee a little sacrifice of ourselves for another human being not only is very joyful to God and our Savior Jesus Christ, but it's good for you. You will feel good about it. I've helped a lot of people and I've never asked for any recognition. I've done things and I've asked those people, keep this between you and I. Nobody needs to know it was me. This is between you and I and the Father. That's why what I'm doing here now is it's odd for me because I've never done this before. I've never put my face out there as the one to help and to let you know, people to see that I'm doing it. But again, I ask, there's no praise for me. It is for the Father that is in heaven. It is for the Son, Jesus Christ. Do it in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit for if no other reason for that. I am just a humble servant of God and that's all I've ever been. We reap what we sow if it be good or it be bad. As I say, the GoFundMe link is in the description and any amount is a blessing. But I think it's time that Rachel sees that people do care. That there is still love left in this world. No matter how bad the world has become, there is still love and caring left. And we can help her. We can get this done. We can help her through this. And she can move on with the wonderful life that she has created for herself and by herself. So, I, I want to thank you all so very much. And in advance, for those that do donate, thank you. And God bless you. And may God keep you until the end of days. So until we speak again, God willing, this is no way out.